Many residents and visitors to Nome enjoy Nome's nature and the sight of the musk oxen in close proximity to town. They are majestic animals and people cherish them for wildlife viewing and for the kivu they leave behind when shedding their winter underwool. However, over the years, several groups of musk oxen get closer and closer to human neighborhoods. Assistant Professor of Biology at the UAF Northwest Campus in Nome, Claudia Eel, is an expert at musk oxen behavior. She explains the history and behavior of musk oxen. Well, musk oxen um, were part of the Ice Age fauna of Alaska, although it's a little spot you're not entirely certain how much and how many were actually on the Seward Peninsula. But musk oxen in Alaska became extinct in the late 1800s. And then they've been reintroduced in the 1930s. So they took musk oxen and re uh, released them onto Nunavik Island in the Bering Sea. And then starting in the 70s, they have released animals from there in, on the Seward Peninsula. Well, that life is very much driven by where to go to eat, yeah. And um, they're herbivores and they're, they're not specialists, so they eat a variety of things. Their staple food during the winter months would be grasses or sedges, particularly sedges up on those higher hilltops where the ground is very barren. During the summer, they eat lots of sedges. They also eat willows. Up until the time the willows turn yellow, they really like the willows. Now doing the everyday business of moving around, it's usually the females who are the leaders. They're the ones who initiate movements and they're the ones whom the other group follows. Much of the group is other females or possibly younger animals who are children of those other females. So they're all kind of, you know, related. The bulls outside the rutting season don't take a very active role in determining where the herd goes. They just either hang out with the herd or they go their own way. But during the breeding season, the bulls have their own ideas. They say, okay, we don't really care where we go, but I want to make sure you girls are in some place where I can keep an eye on you. They're not flight animals. Unlike caribou, uh, they don't seek their salvation in flight when they feel threatened. They can run pretty fast, short distances, but they overheat very quickly. You know, any animal is, is uh, programmed to recognize danger. An animal that is good on its feet will respond by moving away. A musk ox will respond by clamming up. But if something is not a danger, if, if, if you've been accustomed to knowing something is not dangerous to you, then why leave? You know, they, it would be a waste of energy to run off. An animal that is more mobile can maybe expend that energy, but for a musk ox, they're conservative animals who save their energy. So if there's no reason to run off, they won't run off. I think the ones that are close to Nome have become very acclimatized to people because they see people all the time. They hear snow machines, four wheelers, bicycles, people on foot, dogs. And they've kind of learned that by and large those don't pose threats. And when something is not a threat, you know, why get worked up about it? It would waste their energy, so they don't. So now it's late summer, August, September, and they're entering the rutting season. That's the breeding season. So during, during that time, you'll have smaller groups, generally, and usually each group only has one large bull with it. With maybe other large bulls in the vicinity, but not really part of the core group. And the bulls build up their level of testosterone over the summer, and it reaches a peak during the rut. So right now, they're very aggressive, and they're particularly aggressive towards other bulls. One thing that one should point out is people very much tend to overestimate how many musk oxen there are because they're so visible and because they're not afraid of people and hang out right near town. But really, there aren't that many. I mean, the whole Seward Peninsula has maybe, I don't know, 2,500 musk oxen. I mean, that's as many as you have in one reindeer herd. I love them. I think they're wonderful animals. But um, I think, yes, if they, if they start being too much of a problem, we have to do something about it. I do, like them, I do like them wild. I like them to be wary of people because then they don't get in trouble. <laughs>